Detroit hip hop is different because we produce the best rappers on the face of the planet. I think technically we produce the best rappers, no matter the content. You have your street rappers, you can have your, your super conscious rappers, you can have your abstract rapper, your, your backpack rappers, and they all technically are the best rappers on the planet. You see it, you feel it, it's something new, something creative, something culture, something community. So that means Detroit is different, is behind it. I'm talking about destinations of hip hop. Oh man, because it's born out of political struggle, Doc. It's born out of black political struggle. Uh, that's what makes Detroit hip hop so profoundly unique. We had all kind of elements in Detroit hip hop. We had, of course, you know, the dance scene, you know, you had the club scene, you had the street scene, and you had the political scene. I mean, Detroit hip hop was an amalgamation of all the different things that ultimately made hip hop what it is in America, especially in black America. I mean, there's nothing like Detroit. The very same thing that makes Detroit different is what made Detroit hip hop different. Uh, what makes Detroit hip hop different for me is that the influence is beyond what you can think is uh, what's standard, right? So there's punk, there's jazz, there's hip hop, there's techno, there's house, there's fusion, there's jazz, there's all of these genres of music that go and excel far beyond anything you've heard before. So what would make hip hop any different? So that's what make hip hop different because there's, it's too much sauce. It's different because it's like, mm, I don't know man, it's a, it's a city that was influenced heavily by um, the crack era. You know what I'm saying? Not that that defines our music, it doesn't, but you know what I'm saying? It definitely is uh, something that was, you know, fluent and prevalent in our city. So, you know, you hear it in the music. This is the semester in Detroit class from University of Michigan this fall, 2023. And we're talking about the destinations of hip hop, the destinations of Detroit hip hop. And it's gonna be a multimedia experience with so many video interviews of all the legends. Detroit hip hop, has its own unique um, style, rhythm, and it's always been like that. Re uh, Detroit has always been a rebel. I think what makes Detroit hip hop different is the fact that we never had any major companies or record labels supporting us. I think what makes us different is that we have this grind mode attitude about everything. And I think what made us different is that we had all these wonderful different little pockets of people and rappers and performers that were putting out their own music based on their own lived experiences. <laughs> we make Detroit the sound, man. It's a different sound. Uh, it's grungy. It's it's environmental, it's elemental, it's, uh, I think it all started with them tam with the tambourines from, from Motown. What makes Detroit hip hop different is, uh, to me, the rhythms that we pick, you know? Like Slum Village, like they chose to kind of like rap and, or make beats kind of behind the beat, like a little like lazy, like a little behind the beat, but then, you hear like Sada Baby and you hear like Babyface Ray and a few other people, they kind of rap ahead of the beat. So they did the complete opposite of what Slum Village did. So I just love it. I'm talking Awesome Dre, Merciless Amir, Chaos, also Nikki D, Nick Love Rose, Boog Brown, Marv One, and so many others. This is an experience you don't want to miss out on. Wednesday nights, four different sessions. Trey Hip Hop is different because it's had its own style for quite some time. It's starting to catch on mainstream now where you hear a lot of different artists rapping off beat or rapping to the more up-tempo drum style beats. Well, many, of, many of our generation have uh, ancestors who arrived here from other places. So I think one thing that makes Detroit here, in Detroit different is the, the culture that has come together from so many different places especially like the South, you know what I mean? Like specifically for me, my parents came from uh, Alabama, South Carolina, respectively. It's the, the Detroit mentality that we have, the do-it-yourself mentality, um, the spirit of independence, the grit, the soul, um, the fact that we've given birth to so many genres in American music, uh, from house 
uh, to, you know, the soulfulness that you see that Dilla brought to the hip hop community, you know, but we can also keep it real hood and real street. I feel like Detroit is always, no matter which era, Detroit is doing two things. It's trying to be different at the same time it's taking in information and signals from all over the country and then reprocessing and like resynthesizing into this like own shit. You can come, go to Eventbrite and sign up today. And we serving you dinner. It's gonna be so many fun things, also fun guests. It's myself and Nick Speed that are professors along with the great Sterling Toes. Don't miss out on this Destinations of Hip Hop experience. Hey. What makes Detroit hip hop different is the grittiness of it, the, the soul of it, you know, um, a lot of that battle rapping and a lot of just some of, some a lot of our styles and a lot of our techniques have been used and been amplified throughout the community. So a lot of that stuff have came here. So Detroit hip hop is very important. Um, Detroit hip hop is different because we come, a lot of us come from a, a historical background of musicians. You know, a lot of the hip hop artists have people like their parents who were engaged with earlier music before hip hop came out. Detroit hip hop is different because we unique. Just look where we at on the map. You know, we're in a unique space. We like right across the street. I was about to say street, but <laughs> almost, you know what I'm saying? Right across the river from a whole different country, Canada. We in the Midwest, we're at the top of the Midwest. We get the influence of East, West, South, all of that. Um, we still embody the culture. Like the culture that started, you know, in, you know, from New York that made its way to Cali, that made its way down sound, that made its way, you know, Midwest, and made its way all over the nation and all over the world. Um, hip hop was set on um, certain type of principles, and and we still hold these principles true, even even though we got. You know the mainstream development and you know how rappers want to you know do their thing that they doing today but what makes detroit you know different is we still held on to the culture we still held on to um the pillars of hip-hop uh you know what i'm saying the, the mc and the dj and the break and the graffiti art man we just got so much so a variety of 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 musicianship just mashed together you know what i'm saying so those who really can't play instruments in particular use the voice use the beat machine you know different aspects but it's that soul it's it's the grit it's the it's that hard blue collar workmanship that we have that's embedded in our bones and in our dna that gives us that detroit sound that's what makes it different